Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. Please subscribe. Uh, today there's been four earthquakes along the New Madrid fault zone, the largest being a magnitude 2.1, but actually it was a 2.2. We got a 1.5, a 1.7, um, a 2.1, let me bring this down and a 1.7. As you know, this area is a failed rift zone where the United States was originally gonna split up and yeah, tear itself apart, but for some reason it stopped. And since it stopped, we got um, stress that has built up from compression. Yeah, hard to believe that something that was going to be torn apart is now compressing. We got the uh, North American plate moving east to west and what I got drawn out is these different fault zones and this light blue one shows you where the compression is happening. The New Madrid fault zone was quiet for about 11,000 years and then about 4,000 years ago um, it started acting up and they really don't know why. Um, got different theories, uh, water, the weight of water, um, the glaciers receding. Yeah, they just don't know why. I got marked out here uh, the different earthquakes that happened in 1811, their supposed locations that they think where they happened. Um, down here, December 16th on uh, 8.6. Um, there was also a 7.0 and a 8.0. These were all compression earthquakes, and compression earthquakes create what they call a reverse fault uh, slipping, reverse fault earthquake. Kind of give you an idea, um, it's an area where one side stays locked and the other side rises up. Um, give you an idea how strong these earthquakes were. Um, they were three times larger than the earthquake they had in 1964. Some of us might be old enough to remember that earthquake. Um, yeah, you can see, look at the uplift over here and the cars down. Um, there's some more images here showing that event. There you go, there's another image. Now the Alaska earthquake was a magnitude 9.2, but these earthquakes were three times more destructive than the Alaska earthquake mostly because of the fill. For weeks afterwards, there was earthquakes of magnitude 6.2. Yeah, a lot of them. So that's what you could expect if the New Madrid, you know, had a large earthquake. Another comparison, the 1811-1812 earthquakes was 10 times larger than the 1906 San Francisco earthquake. And just think about all the people that would be affected. Um, the 1811-1812 earthquake affected more than 4,000 square miles. Um, that's an area where over um, probably 11, 12 million Americans now live. So I downloaded four, um, two different monitors and here's the one earthquake that they're saying is a magnitude uh, 2.1, but it actually comes in as a magnitude 2.2, let me bring it down here and I'll show you. Yeah, 2.22 actually. And I'll bring this back back up and we'll look at the seismic signature, or the spectrogram, excuse me. And then I'll make this smaller and show you it on the different monitors. We got PPLM and then on the right is STAM. All right, the next little earthquake is right there at 644 Universal Time. This is today. There's the spectrogram and then the seismic signature. I probably have to close this one out and make it bigger. Okay, see how it, the first wave of this earthquake, let me make this bigger, points up. That means it came from the north of this monitor. Okay, 644. USGS says that is a magnitude 1.7. We'll go to its location. Yeah, up in the area where the fault zone is probably locked and yeah, where you have the step over. 
uh, where one fault would rise up side of the fault and the other would st stay stationary. You can tell it's um, a locked block zone because of the way the river flows or along where that fault is. Rivers often follow faults. So I come up with a magnitude 1.73. Those of you that can see this on bigger screens, it's there at the bottom. It says MD 1.73. And let me bring this back up. So they didn't fudge about that one. And this again is, um, yeah, plate movement. Let me make it bigger. Yeah, we got some, some, yeah, volcanic tremors. How deep was that one? A little more than seven miles. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. And then, let's see, we got a small one there. But I'm going to do that one right there at 1116. It really only shows up on the one monitor for PPLM, which would be this monitor right here. You can see we got new Madrid up here at the top. And this is the monitor that shows that very, very small earthquake. But it comes in as a magnitude 1.29. You can see it kind of rattled for a little bit. Let me make that bigger. Yeah, this again is uh, well, mostly compression, fault movement. And they're not reporting that one. The last earthquake they're reporting is at 722. And yeah, can you see that little red line as I move the mouse across here? They're saying that's a magnitude 1.5, four miles below sea level. They're saying it's a magnitude 1.5, but I get a magnitude 1.26. And we got another little one over here. Let's take a look at that one. Okay, at 8.55, it's not being reported. It's, it's a little thing. Okay, let's go to the spectrogram. Yeah, it's tiny. Okay, went on for a little bit. And I'll stop it right there. Comes in as a 0 0.60. And then we got other little things here. Tiny, looks like one there maybe teeny tiny thing and another tiny one there this is STAM now STAM I believe is yes that one right there okay I'll bring it out this activity as large as it looks only shows up on the one monitor so we got it there and then there and that's some kind of noise let me close that and make it bigger for you yeah, see how it st starts out small and then builds and then goes down. Um, sometimes it's not always the case, but this is more than likely noise. See, it doesn't show up over here on this other monitor. Let's see, 15, whatever, see, nothing. Let me go to the um, 21, uh, 21, 21, 28. We'll bring it over a little bit. 24, 21, 25, 26, 27. Yeah, see, that's just, that's just noise. All right, we got another one here at 133 Universal Time. You can see it right there. Um, they're saying that's a magnitude 1.7, but I come up with a magnitude 1.75. And I stopped it right here, right after this one little blip. But I don't think it'll show here on the spectrogram. It only shows up right there. Let me make that bigger. Yeah, hard to tell. And then we got some slow moving tremors. Let me pull, pull this up for you. You can see it all through there. I thought I saw something else in there, but I'll just pull it across. Let me go to the spectrogram for you. Yeah, oh, look at that. Line of melt. Yeah, heated water coming up during that time. Okay. Yeah. And then there's another. 
You see how it starts out small? The slow moving tremor. And then, yeah. And then it heats up. Yeah. Probably gases also. Yeah. Yeah, I can see one at the bottom, one in the middle, and one at the top there. And then we got some lightning there. Try and see if there's an earthquake in there, but let me bring this down so I can change this around. Yeah, right there and right there. Uh, let's see, we'll just come across. And then it settled down. And then we got another one here. That one looks deeper. And then we got another slow moving tremor there. And another one there. See how it just starts out here and then gets brighter and brighter as it continues. That might be a small quake there. Let's see. Yeah, small one there. Okay, go back to the spectrogram. And then down here when I pulled the files a little while ago, this is what was going on. Again, this is PPLM. Which would be this monitor right here. Let me bring this up. Okay, right there. There's the one PPLM and STAM. So let's go to the STAM monitor. And you can see earthquakes in there. Let's go to the spectrogram. You see where the earthquakes came up. Maybe I should just leave it on the earthquakes. Look at the popping that's going on when there are these slow moving tremors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I talked about these signatures before. Yeah, the screw wave. Okay. Yeah, well, that's a screw wave. Yeah, but looks like a spring. A wound up spring. That's Pull it over some more. See if I see any more here. Okay. I don't see it. Oh. Might be one there. Another one there. Another one there. Okay. And let's come down here. Okay. Yep. Take a look at the spectrogram. This is deep. This is really deep. Go back to the signature. And it continued. Let's see. Slow moving earthquakes. Alright, and then this is what it was showing. Yeah, I've got my monitor on for earthquakes to oops. Let me know when other earthquakes have been happening. Yeah, that one says the bearing straight. Let's see. Yeah, look at that. Deep. That is deep. Yeah. A lot of these earthquake faults there in New Madrid, they do not have surface faults. So it's really hard um, to find them. Um, they've been using some of the newer technology, um, surface penetration, um, LIDAR. To find them, but this whole area here between these two fault zones is just riddled with faults. Yeah, riddled with faults. Anyways, that's all I have for you right now. Yeah, just a matter of time. So, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.